Hey YouTubers and vapers out there, how's everyone doing today? Trizit Vapes coming at you on the 6th of December 2014. Uh, I got a lot of big news here, it's just a quick update today. Been in contact with some uh, with a local business, a woodworker, and we're getting together here uh, this, this week and actually I've emailed them tonight several times um, to get started with the production of a prototype for a wooden um, e-juice or e-liquid bottle holder. So it's, it's an organizer. You'll have it all laid out on a multi-tiered system so you can have your mods sitting at the back in the middle. You can have three or four atomizers next to that and on the tier down you know you'll have maybe some of your bigger bottles, your 30s and your 50 milliliter bottles and then below that you'll have space for all of your, your 10 or your 15s. Um, we're really excited about that. Um, I know this guy, he's a, he's a good guy and he's local so it's going to be something that's going to be real high quality handmade in his shop. Pretty excited about that. We'll be working with him and we'll get that going as soon as possible and we will get all that information out to you guys just as quick as I can get it. I have a new line of e-liquids I'm going to be reviewing here soon from www.vapelocity.com and I will put their link in the description below ordered up some new uh, new equipment for photography. I have an old camera, but it takes amazing stills. It's really sharp, real high quality. But I'll be using that for stills and for uh, coil build videos. So I've got the charger for that because I think chews through batteries. It's really old. And I also got a tripod, a flexible tripod coming for that so that I can mount it to my desk, aim it down, do the coil builds. It probably won't be high def, but it'll be really good in detail. So. We'll go from there. I'm pretty excited about that as well. I've got two new atomizers on the way. I've got a Mephisto clone and a Dark Horse clone. I'm really, really stoked about those two. What else do I got? Oh, I got vape mail the other day. I already opened it up. Couldn't wait. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but it's an IntelliCharger i2. This thing is awesome. I highly recommend it. I bought it on eBay for like $11. It's amazing. I, uh, I've got all my, my 18650s charged up. And before that, I think I mentioned in a video, my other little charger quit out on me. Um, so I've just been using the ELVT to charge batteries and to vape off of um, because the Panzer Mech Mod that I use, the Addy that's in there now is uh, equipped with a 0.23 ohm dual nano coil build. And it really just sucks the batteries dead really quick. Christmas stuff. What's everybody doing for Christmas this year? Like, How do you guys celebrate? Do you guys have any traditions you'd like to share with me? Post that in the comments or email me. We, we're going to put up a tree this year, decorate that. We haven't done that yet. we kind of late on that, but that's all right. Um, and this year we went and uh, hung out down in Dubuque, Iowa. Saw this really awesome uh, holiday train. It's like a Canadian Pacific holiday train, I think is what it was called. And we went and viewed that, and there was like a, a little concert, a mini concert that played. They had a band that played country music and stuff, which I guess, I don't know, it's not my thing, but it was really cool. The kids really loved it. We hung out in the cold, out in the middle of the street, and the, next to this person's lawn. It was kind of kind of weird, but there was like a big crowd, probably a thousand people out there. It was pretty, pretty packed, actually, you know, and it was at a railroad crossing that crosses through Dubuque, Iowa. But um, yeah, it was it was interesting. You know, the holiday train was all lit up like a Christmas tree, and uh, the actual one of the box cars, the uh, the side of it folded down, and that's where the stage was, and they could perform there and everything. And it was it was it was a good time. We had a lot of fun. It's for sure, we've done that. And uh, we hit up a Wendy's afterwards, which I haven't had fast food like Wendy's in like years, probably five years. And uh, it was really good to have just a Wendy's a cheeseburger with the kids. They'd never had Wendy's. I was like, what? So, yeah, that's, that's what we're doing. Um, other than that, let's take a puff. I'm like five minutes into this video. I haven't even taken a single puff yet. I've been talking this whole time. Before I puff, I'm going to have a drink of water, though. Ah, I'm vaping on the Chocolate Mint uh, by LiquidVisionVapor.com. Very, very good. Check them out. I'll put their, their link in the description below as well, as always. Mmm, that's so good. Very, very smooth. And the flavors of mint and chocolate are really good. That's for a review, though. That's not what we're doing here.
So I'm really, really excited. Got this news out there. Um, what's everybody else up to? Anybody else got any suggestions? I know uh, one of my viewers on Google Plus had suggested checking out Vape Juice and uh, Zample Box and a few others. So last night was the first time I really got to travel with the ELVT and the Omega setup. I'm telling you, it performed really well. It fit in my pocket. I don't have any e-liquid in my pockets at all. Nothing. So I was really happy about that. Um, I That reminds me. I still have to do reviews on this stuff. So I'll cut this video a little short. I'm going to make some more videos, probably tonight, tomorrow and uh, definitely get a review of the ELVT out there because I really like it. But I've rambled on long enough for tonight. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. I'll be doing a video and I'll probably do videos for the next four or five days and then take a day or two off. Uh, that seems to be my schedule. Uh, as rotating as it is, that's what I got. So everybody, hope you're all happy, healthy, and safe. Have a great holiday season and uh, enjoy your vape. Have a good one, guys.